Hi, my name is Josh Evilsizer, and today I'm going to show you how to organize your school lecture and reading notes using Google Docs outlines. So keep watching if you're interested in super organizing your school lecture and or reading notes using the Google Docs outline and heading styles function. All right, let's go. So the basics. Josh, what is a Google Docs outline? That's a great question. So top left hand corner here, three lines, three dots. If we expand this, you'll see the outline for the script that is unfolding in front of your eyes right now. And uh, the way that these outlines are organized is using the heading styles function. That's how these are nested or subordinated. And I'll show you that next. All right. So here we have a number of words, and I'm going to show you what happens when I click anywhere in the word title, and I move to the Styles menu and select Title, and then Heading 1, Heading 1, Heading 2, Heading 2, so on and so forth. Josh, how do you make this easier? Great question. Heading 3, Control-Alt-3, or Command-Alt-3 if you're on a Mac. Control Alt 4 and normal is Control Alt 0. And you see on the left hand side how the style applied tells the outline what to do. All right, so let's keep moving here. These are the shortcuts that I just shared with you for your reference. I'm also going to show you how to update the heading styles. We'll do that right now, real quick. So I don't like all of these to be different sizes. So what I do is select all of them and pick the font or sorry, pick the font that I like. I like Roboto. Uh, I'm going to make these size 11. Uh, I don't want any of them to be italicized. I do want them all to be just regular black font. And I think that's it. Is it bold there? They're all bold and they're all 11. Good to go. So title, all I would do then is just come up here and update title to match. Heading one, update heading one to match. Heading two, so on, up, heading two to match, so on and so forth, right? You get the point. Just so they're all the same size. I don't like the giant font. Uh, but again, you do you. Control Alt Zero will take them all back to normal should you need to. And we'll continue on with the lesson. All right, headings to consider using. Here's a starting point. It's OA. Uh, title of the class, references, class lesson, organized by date or topic or whatever, uh, class notes, and assigned readings. And let me show you what that might look like. So here we go. Title of the class. And we can make this a title. And references, we're going to make Control-Alt-2. Sorry, Control-Alt-1. So heading style 1. Class lesson, heading style 1. And you'll see these styles didn't carry over to this document. They are unique to the document. The only document, they're unique to the document that you frame them in uh, or define them in. All right. We want these two things, class notes, to, to be subordinate to class lesson. So since class lesson is heading one, these will be heading two, control alt two. Um, here's where. Uh, I would change everything to the same font. We're not going to do that right now or again. But you can see on the left-hand side how the outline is starting to take shape. And I think what we're going to do next, reminder, this is just an example, you do you. Uh, I'm going to show you some examples. And I'm going to move through these using the Control Tab function. So I just wanted to share that shortcut with you because why, why, should, why wouldn't I? <laughs> Control Tab moves left to right. Control Shift Tab moves backwards. All right, so starting, we'll just start here, control tab, you've seen this one and this one. Here is an example of how it could take shape. So you can see on the left hand side, uh, or up here, the name of the class. This is my Stockdale class in the uh, Foundations of Moral Obligations class. Um, references, and you can see as I move down, there is a cursor on the left hand side that highlights where we're at in the outline. Uh, but you can see here, references, first day information, team information. Um, and then each of the class lessons I have kind of pre-organized here. Then as we move through the class and days happen and notes occur as they do, uh, it starts to take shape. So you can see here I've got my references listed, uh, the syllabus, a quick capture document, which I'll talk about in another video, uh, some other quick references, first day information that came out that was important that first day, uh, some basic class requirements, so on and so forth. There's the team. 
and you can see it's moving through the outline over here. Uh, day one of class, I've got my class notes ready. My essential readings are all right here. So all the assigned readings, you can see this first reading was from a book. Uh, so there's no hyperlink and the, and the TBD is there for me to take notes. Uh, the next one is hyperlinked to a PDF I've dropped on Google Drive. In any event, you see all the assigned readings ready for notes to take place. And I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. Right here, as we move through the essential readings, you can see uh, I've captured all my notes. Pretty straightforward, all right. Now you're asking, Josh, how does this help me super organize my notes? I'm sure you can kind of see already how it does that, but let's hit some specific examples or reasons. So first of all, eases or aids the navigation of a super huge document. It's like adding book chapters to a large book, right? So you can find yourself in it very quickly. Uh, for example, my international security class, uh, like 700, it says 694 now, it, it varies, but almost 700 pages. It could take a while to find what you're looking for, especially without a book chapter or a header to get you to exactly the spot you're looking for, right? Um, so there you go. Eases navigation. Single document enables speedy lookup via control F. So I'm in my Foundations of Moral Obligations class. Uh, let's see at the very top here. And I'm looking for all instances of the word justice. I can see there's 42 instances and I hit enter and it's gonna take me to each individual one and hopefully one of those is the one I was looking for. So there you go. Single speedy lookup, find readings easily. So if you're uh, perhaps in a class that uh, awards class participation and let's say Aristotle comes up or um, I know the Epictetus reading is being discussed. You could just jump right here to your Epictetus reading and have some good fodder to interject and receive class points. <laughs> All right. So an easy way to get yourself right to a specific portion of the document that you might be looking for. Find class notes easily for participation or studying. So class notes, as you can see, I've highlighted in here with this little hand writing. So very rapidly, you can go through here and grab up all your class notes before a test so you can um, study those class notes. Or you can jump to them if, let's say, they're being discussed in class and you want to jump to an old series of notes for reference for whatever reason. In any event, another way to jump back and forth or around and through the document, easy way to navigate the, this, this very large, potentially very large document. Um, this one, this, this document was 106 pages. So yeah, very, <laughs> makes things a lot easier. Uh, find topics easily via heading titles or control F. Um, same thing, these titles over here are just gonna help you move in and around the document very quickly. Uh, and again, control F, which I mentioned earlier. Emojis as bookmark. So let's say you're in class day one, here we go. And you left off at the Marcus Aurelius reading. Uh, you could just use the Windows period sign, enter the bookmark if this is the spot that you left off. And you can see on the left-hand side here, oh, there's the reading that I left off on yesterday. I'll pick up here today and continue my, my reading and my note-taking. So there you go. Um, what else? Identify sections easily. So as you can see, very easy with the emoji um, added on to the words. If I'm moving, if I'm looking through all my essential readings, it's very easy. I just look for the book emojis. What else? Or annotate readings complete. Yes, this was very helpful for me. Uh, as I finished a reading for a class, I would just drop this green check mark there to let me know. Ready for class tomorrow, all readings complete. Or you could put a green check mark by each of each of the individual readings um, if you'd like to as well. But the one single check mark just kept things cleaner for me. All right. See upcoming video 63 for tricks on your mobile phone. You don't want to miss that one. Uh, taking voice notes via voice dictation is a incredible asset. All right. Prove it, Josh. Happy to do so. Uh, though I can't really. But I can tell you this method... Uh, I used it during my master's program here at the Navy War College. It just worked. Um, what were your grades, Josh? That's a good question. Ask me after June 16th, 2023, and I will tell you. 
uh, and then you can decide whether or not to use this system. Uh, this video is for a friend just starting the Army War College. Uh, so Joe and anyone else watching, uh, I hope any of these techniques uh, are as helpful to you uh, as they were for me. Uh, once more, this video brought a lot of the know-how and some of the know-why. Uh, check out my other videos to get more of both. And if this was helpful, as always, uh, please feel free to like, subscribe, share it with somebody else that might like it or enjoy it or need it. <laughs> and remember, uh, you can find ways to reach me uh, in the section below the video there, as well as the outline that you saw here. If you want to reference that, there's a link in the comments section down below. And if you leave questions, as always, I will leave answers. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.